Hello everyone, welcome back to Opus Magnum. Um, the first thing I'm going to say is you might be able to hear a fan in the background. Um, it's way too hot, it is so goddamn hot. But the sound should not be that bad. Um, we're back and we have uh, one to do, the Curious Lipstick. Now I haven't been here for a little while, um, but I had a quick look at it to see kind of what it would involve. And this is something new. Basically, if we have any glyphs left on the board, we can dispose of them in a big hole. We don't know where it goes, but it's gone. Right, so that is what we need to create. And in my instance, we have two halves. This thing here, made of basic elements, and then this one here, made of the male, female, plus, minus thing. We only have two regents, which are two salts, so we need to use one to create the top half and one to create the bottom half, essentially, which are what these two are used for. So we've got this thing here, which essentially allows us to create the plus and the minus using two salts for the top half. And then we've got this will need to get rid of the minus, is what I think the way it works is, or the plus, whichever way around it is. This wheel of, of elements will turn the salt into the bottom half and we need earth and fire by the look of it. Um, oh no, it needs to be on the board. It's just too big and bulky. Okay, well that's fine. So that, that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to heavily focus on one side first. So, I decide that I'm going to start with the plus and the minus. Now, I'm going to call them pluses and minuses, and I'm going to say this is the plus, and the lighter one is the minus. Now, we basically need two salts, um, and that will give us both, the plus and the minus. And then I'm going to use number one arm to delete, shall we say, the one we don't need. I find it is the wrong way around, so I spin it around. And now I'm going to use the arm to get rid of the minus that we don't need. And then the arm gets reset. And then I can just continue to do that for every time we need it. Oh, I overshot it a little bit because it's out slightly. And there you go. Now I can just I can just repeat that for every single time that I need a plus. The upside down. I'll call it the upside down one. So now I literally need to create um, the half circle. Now I've done this before to create a circle, and if you look, the bottom two are also half circles. Um, so that's a very big pattern in this. It's the half circles. And I get confused. I'm not 100% sure what the problem is. I think it's because it's not on a track. What actually is the problem is the glyph circle that's down the bottom is number two. So I have to rearrange the order of the blah, blah, blah. That will happen. And I come to the idea, I don't know whether this works out that way or not. I can't, I really can't be asked to work the numbers out. But I can have a non retracting arm and a conveyor belt rather than a retracting arm and not a conveyor belt. That's the basic idea of what I've gone for with arm two there. So rather than it go backwards and forward, like in and out, moving the things around, it makes more sense just to leave everything at arm's length. So I need to clear myself some space because once I've got three of these things, I need to move them out and create three more. Then I'm going to connect them using the top half. So 
So I, I repeat. I repeat the the, the thing because I know how many roughly I need to get. It's just about coordinating the second arm so that I make sure that all the arms all move around at once. And my plan. Also, I don't like the fact that once you get to a certain point, you have to watch the whole process through. You can't choose a starting point that I've discovered. You have to watch it from the very beginning. That gets a little bit annoying. Because a lot of the time, I just want to test what I've done. But yeah, arm free is going to move the free elements and get them ready to be connected to the other half of the circle. I also know I'm going to have to rotate it. So the plan in theory is arm two Um, I'll use arm 2 to grab the central element and spin it. There you go, like that. I tried to grab it a little bit too early, so I've just got to move that once. I can bring it all in to make sure it all works. And there is the top half. Now, it's not connected at the bottom because I want to deal with that a little bit later. I wanted originally to move it around so that it connected but i'll get rid of that later but you'll see but that's the first half done so now i'm just focusing on the bottom half um so i have myself now a connector and i know that um the first one that i need to make ideally will be the one at the top which is the two salts and the fire mainly because it will be easier to shift that back now if you look at that four connector symbol i can use the top left ball connector piece um to actually connect the two semicircles together So if I create the top one first, I can shift it back and place it where it needs to be, and then the three green elements will just connect and the whole shape will be connected. I realise that this arm, this arm, was very much needs to expand because it needs to get around so I place that one on there first and then I have to make it fire um, I add the final arm because I know that I need to move it so I place the final arm and I can mess around with that a bit later now there's the first one second one and there's the third one so there is the whole of the uh, the whole of the image I realize that you know I've got to grab the middle element but then I know I don't really it doesn't have to necessarily be the middle element it can be the one at the edge um, but there you go so I'm gonna grab it at that point
it's all about trying to work out you see there you go so now it is positioned in the exact place it needs to be to connect to the three greens um so i know now that um i know i basically need to turn all three salts into green and I have to try and work it out so that it all coincides with the other half of the element being created Now, I've realized there that there's obviously collisions, so I have to change just a little bit. I have to kind of uh, not expand them at certain points until they're aimed where they need to be. So it's going to take a, t a tad longer. And there it is. There it is. Now I need to connect them. So, at this point, I decide that I'm not going to try and do any fancy kind of connections. What I am going to do is I'm just literally going to place... Um, I'm just going to place the connector at the bottom. Um, I'm a bit confused here. I was trying to reset the arm, but I couldn't work out what it was that I was doing. Um, Okay, that doesn't work because what I've tried to do is I've tried to move it round too quickly and it collides with the other one. So I decide I'm going to move it just once and there it's there. Now, if I can get the other half down, it will connect. So that's where the connection needs to be and that's where the other half So I've got all the bits, and honestly, I know roughly um, it's just a case of, of getting the arm to where it needs to be. I've decided that I need a retractable arm rather than a solid one so I've moved everything across so that everything is still there um, and I haven't lost out on anything there and if I move the whole thing up then essentially all I have to do is shift the whole thing down once I forgot to move the salt, but you can ignore that. <laughs> there you go. So that's now ready to go. I'm now going to use arm six. If I just bring it once closer, it connects to the right corner. I need to then work out, if I just rotate the arm...
There it is. It's completely exactly as it needs to be. So if I rotate this, and then I just move the uh, what I need to on the left, rotate it twice, fit that in there, roughly, it's roughly where it's gonna be, I would say. So that's roughly where it's gonna be, I would say. That won't fit because it's too far away, so I decide, no, that's fine, that works. Um, so I put the arms back and try to put it in. In the hopes that I really need to try to work it all out. It's all out of frame, so it's all very difficult to really see from a distance. But I do make the GIF so at the end you can actually see. I realise that I didn't need the extending arm as well, which was silly. Um, I get rid of the blocks and here it goes now this is in normal speed pop and as it's difficult again it's difficult because you can't see everything working but the first half goes in and there's that boom in straight away it's just straight in There it is. Um, and there we go. So that is yet another one complete. Now, I was hoping, really hoping, that this was going to be kind of the last one because I'm on the last area now and I'm close to the bottom, but it's not. There are more. Um, it has taken some time. Uh, to come back to the game uh, because the viewers started to drop off a little bit and I was a little bit focused on trying to get other stuff up and running uh, but I wanted to come back to it because I love it because it's fun I really enjoy this kind of a game um, and there we go we did it and I really wasn't sure what to expect but the area is perfect the cost is a fraction lower than it should be but the cycles isn't great but we knew it probably wouldn't be um, so that's kind of understanding. Um, and now I'm going to go back. But there is the GIF there. You get to see it working fully. I've sped it up a little bit. So thank you so much. This has been Opus Magnum. I am getting very close. Universal Solvent is next. I am going to do my best to try and do a few more of these. Honestly, um, even if people don't like them, what I want to try and do is I want a video every day, but I am starting to stream as well. And I feel like this would be a good thing to put up on the days that I'm streaming, because if the viewing falls off a little bit, it doesn't matter because I'm streaming anyway. So that's fine. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what how this goes. And um, I will carry on. We've got a couple more to go. And thank you so much for watching. So please like this, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Why not take a look at some of the others stuff that I am doing. There are links on the screen right now and I will see you again next time.